All right, welcome to my tutorial on using Anki for studying anatomy. So, in anatomy, images, pictures are everything because it's one you really can't just read about uh, structures in the body. You have to see them. Uh, so, how can we use that principle, you know, using images to learn, to make Anki cards so that we can remember? So, I'm going to show you that today. One of my favorite programs is called Inkling. Uh, and it's an e-reader and one of the cool functions is this test yourself button. So when I click that, I get rid of the labels. And the, the fancy name for that is image occlusion. And what I'll do is I'll come, I'll copy, that becomes my question. Then my answer, I like to give a little description. My answer then is the picture without the image. And I'll do a little copy paste, and there we go, and that's a card, and that's what it looks like. Question, answer, done. Now, if you don't have Inkling, no worries, but you'll need another program. You'll, if you're on a, on a PC, you'll need uh, MS Paint. On Mac, I use this program called Paintbrush, and so pretend we're, we're uh, just reading a book online or on Google or anything like that. <clears throat> One quick way is literally a copy-paste. Um, I like to still use screen capture, so we'll do screen capture. So here I change the order a little bit. I got the original image. I'll make the answer first. You'll see in a second. So I put the answer first. Then I go to my markup, and you'll see I already have it in there. And I'll take rectangles and just go like that. Say I only, I don't need, and the nice thing about this is I don't have to do every label. Let's see, let's pretend you know I only want a couple. Then I can select all or copy, paste, and there I go with the image occlusion. And actually, sometimes I prefer this because you know Anki best practices is to have one question per card, and so what that might look like maybe one one image one occluded label. But then you get like 50, 50 cards for each structure. So I think there's a happy medium, and I, so I like to like so if, you know if there are a lot of labels on a on a card, I'll do maybe like a quarter of them or half of them of really important structures because not every structure is important as as another. <clears throat> but that's but that's the principle. And so while you're studying anatomy and you're going through the book, this is a really great way to make your own set of flashcards that you can have forever. You can that you know are integrated into the space repetition system which is which is the most important part and that for the, on the whole are are free uh, a lot of you know a lot of anatomy books come with accompanying uh, flashcard decks but they cost a lot of money and they don't have the benefit of having space repetition so that's uh, how you use uh, Anki to study anatomy